<coughs> Good evening, friends. I hope you are all doing well. I am also fine. Uh, today, I am going to show you how you can uh, create uh, QR codes using Python. So, let's get started. Um, I have in my uh, Visual Studio code, VS Code. So, I'm going to write a Python script, generate QR code, and then also upload that to kind of like this three button. So, let's get started. So, first, I'm going to uh, import some libraries. So, I'll go QR code. Um, we haven't done it. Let's say pip to install the three. I already have previously installed. If you do not have, then you should get in, uh, you should be installed. Then um, let's create an image. Usually we give an uh, HTTP URL so that uh, when people scans the QR code, they go to that website. So, for example, here, I put my website address, and then I'm going to give it a file name. And image dot save to get file name. So after that, this is optional. Which is uh, a profile store session. Okay, now let's try it. Run it. And a file, and as you can see, file has been created. If I open this, use the QR code of the website and if I scan this I should be able to get it. It's very bad. Let's go to Google Chrome and QR code. Let's see if I can scan the QR code. Let's not do that, but rather than let's get a good So here's the project, here's the Python, here's the QR code. Fine, let's see if it's Yeah, this is the URL. If I do it, it should be a if you scan it through mobile, you should be able anyway. Uh, this is the part one, and the part two is uploading that to the S3 bucket. So I have the code here. Copy that. It's available in my GitHub account. What I'm going to do is uh, S3 client, and then I go access key and second key. So S3 client access key. And this one goes secret key. And give an optional bucket name. So now, if I run this, which I haven't said the access key and secret key, but uh, let's try to do that. Let's go to one of my diverse account. 
I will create an access key and subject key, and then also into a bucket. And I'll give you the name of the second. And then I'm going to go to the IED section. Let's go to S3. In S3, I will create a bucket. This bucket, uh, I'm getting, so you shouldn't be able to use this bucket. bucket. Okay, I was able to create the bucket. Probably, then you have to use a different. And then I'm going to add a new user. And that is the S3 user. S3 user. Only programmatic access. And I'm going to do S3. This will give me an access key and second key. So let's try to use this. This is my access key. I will delete that once the video is created. So do not try to copy that. Here is the second key. And then let's try it. If all is fine, I should be able to see that here. Yeah. There it is. So we created the QR code, uploaded to an S3 bucket, and maybe you can make it public. So public, then people from anywhere can can you make it public? No. Because I haven't given the public. Okay, so now let's go to the objects and let's see if we can make it public. And we can make it public. Permissions, objects can be public. Yeah. We have to choose a CL. Now let's go to the objects. Click here. I should be able to make public. Here it is. Hit public and uh, I should be able to do it. But I can download it. Okay. So that's it, guys, for today. Uh, I hope this helps you to generate QR codes randomly for your websites or any shopping cart, anything. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.